Viewer discretion is advised. Dream Team's all right with me. Dream Team's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I coach Destroyer. This is War Dog. And I'm the coach of the War Dogs. VA. Vieta. And this is my favourite part of the year. We actually get to go back to Around the Grounds, and this is the first time we've done it this year. Good. We have. Warren, how did you go? Well, I'm the worst out of all of us. I didn't think I'd ever be crabby about scoring a 2,100 no. score, especially round one, but that's ranking me like in mid-8,000s <laughs> or something. Yeah. But, but, you know... It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. No, this detail. no that's twenty-one to rounds to go. Well done. How'd you go? Uh, two, 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 five. Oh, you like sprinted. Oh, yeah. 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 That was good. That was good. Oh yeah. Um, um, I got a twenty-two o two, which I'm really happy with. Had some underperformers, but man, I had some overperformers yeah, as well. Um, which we were actually there firsthand to see. We went over to Melbourne and had a bloody awesome time. Yeah. It was fantastic. But well, how yeah. stressful is it not being at home when it's lockout? It's awful. Although what we did was spend a fair bit of time in the hotel room. <laughs> we were, uh, it was wet outside, so we were a little bit under the weather. And um, and we just uh, spent our time on the DT in there using all the... What was that? We spent time on the DT, didn't we? <laughs> we didn't get a chance. We, well, gave it, we said half an hour each. Yeah. Robbie Gray, Robbie Gray, he stressed the freaking hell out of me. An hour and a half of stress. And he stayed in my team anyway. What about the names he was throwing out oh. there to replace? Oh, Brad Miller. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Panic attack mode. DT, DT like oh, psychotic. DT <laughs> crazy, it wasn't good. But you know why our scores were good too? Why? No. No, they weren't good because of that. Because we didn't even lock in a captain. No, no. Oh, we didn't even no, we lock didn't. in a captain. No, we didn't. You know why? Because Calvin, everyone just clap. I will give you five seconds to clap for it. Yep, there you go. Well done, Calvin. <laughs> Thank you. Tell them why. Oh, <laughs> because of the loophole. We yeah. didn't actually click on a captain. We went uh, carrots on that uh, Thursday night. Gave him the big V. The big V. v. He knocked up the 131. And uh, after that, we decided that's good enough. So we didn't click a captain. Get it. Oh. Now, it worked well for some. Well, it worked very well for us, especially because even though we had some really high-scoring players, they weren't in our captain considerations, right. were they? No, exactly. Others, however... Not as mm. uh, fortunate. <laughs> Please don't cry. You know I'm leaving here tonight. Before I go, I want you to know there will always be. A what did he say? He said he locked in Bartel. Every point is a point. It doesn't matter if it's off Swanee or Gumbleton. Every point counts. Uh, unlucky there, child. Very unlucky. Um, unfortunately, we've got another Thursday game start, but there is no loophole this week. So that's really, really going to suck. No partial lockout to get us through. Um, some games to worry about, I guess, some Freo players, Richmond, Bulldogs, and especially Hawthorne and Geelong being on Monday. So oh, that's a long time. We, yeah, it is. Now, we need you to save the day for us, Calvin. Can you give us a captain? We Again. don't want a vice-captain this week. We want yeah. a captain to lock in. Well, Gary does play on Monday. So yeah. it's a long time to wait for your captain. He's got a big average, worry in the end, though. He yeah, averages yeah. 123 in his last three against the Hawks. So he'll be one of the most popular picks. Okay. Swanee thumped it. Now, Swanee's playing Saturday, is that right? That is right. Correct. And his last two scores oh. against uh, Melbourne. Melbourne have been 133, 130. Coming off on what? Oh, 140. So, so man, yeah, he's going to be very happy. And, and the other Swanee one. had 90 in the second half, I think, the other day. And the other one everyone's <laughs> going to be looking at is Bolt. Bolt plays North Melbourne. He averages 121 in his last three. And uh, with his lowest score in that patch of three was 114. So oh, wow. he's going to smoke it too, I reckon. Interesting. When I went up there, I was like a dog shit in razor blades. I was so nervous, I dropped my guts. I'm pretty sure I might have even followed through. The team for me is slightly a fucking dumb through the midfield for my liking. I think it would have worked better with a bit more uh, seasoned uh, veterans in there. Pum, pum, pum. Why on earth would you use Swan instead of this other cheap meat? It might be slightly more expensive, but 
the aftertaste of Swanee leaves is it's delightful. Oh, I couldn't believe it. They hate in the midfield. They said I could have picked up a better midfield at Dimmies. But I tell you what, it had come down my forward line and I had a little bit of extra spice in there that was sure to catch their eye. I must admit, I think the inclusion of Midhurst is unnecessary and leaves you looking like a try-hard. To be honest, what is Midhurst? Is it Greek, Lebanese or just Mediterranean? The chopper, the tribe has spoken. You are the biggest loser. You are evicted from the Big Brother house. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Off. Sad to go, but off to hang out with Teddy. Okay, what we're going to do now is flash everyone's team up for a second, and I just want one point of reflection on the players you've picked. So you go first, Warning. Um, well, first up, I've got. Coming back in this week will be Franklin and Robbie Gray, so that's only going to make the team better, so I'm not worried yeah. about that. And I'd just like to apologise to Jared Brennan. I know I love you a lot and I cheated on you with uh, Gia, Barry. but uh, yeah. Gia's got that influence over he me. Does. He does. He's yeah. a beautiful man. But you are too, Jared. Right. Count and go. <laughs> well, I, I, I was happy with a couple of my picks in being uh, Duffield and Kelly. But I did get rid of Tadge and Mao last minute. I'm very mm. upset about that. And the other one was, I'm sure you'll mention this as well, it's uh, Medhurst over Barry Hall. A bit random. Yeah, it is. And it was a last click on the uh, on the on the bloody clicker there, Roy, before yeah. our intranet ran out of the hotel. Yeah, yeah, well I won't mention that one now because you just did. So um oh, well, one last minute trade I did was um I went old Canelli down to Hunt and that gave me enough money to make Brown Steve Johnson. So it cost me points this week, but I'm On not turn, stressed baby. about it. I like my team. I like my team. That's right, Scott Gumbleton, more like Scott Gumblenun. That's about how many points you had at half time. Oh, but chop, I was playing against the cats. Doesn't mean you had to be a pussy, you poof. Waiting for you to play your first game of AFL was like me waiting to get my first route. It took years and years, and when it came around, I was excited for a few seconds. And then we're all like, what happened there? Is that finished? Gumbleton. How about you get on your horse and get the f out of my dream team? Gumbledon, you get the chop. Teams locked in this well, week. the big thing is Thursday night again, as we said before, um, it's an 8.40 start, like Eastern real time, not Western Australian time. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, so yeah, make yeah. sure you're locked in there. And we well on Virtual Sports for your service, been kick ass That's this fantastic. year. Well, it's not one complaint. So, yep, so we'll be all fine for that. You can lock in everything right up to there. Well, that's it. That's it. Oh, special hello to Amanda, who we met in Melbourne. She yeah. is an absolute champion. Um, and She's smoking hot at Dream Team. Yeah. Very, very, very smoking hot at Dream Team. Um, good luck this week.